may have invaded my mind and my body, but there's one thing to say and always keep. <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys, DBZ Sim here, coming at you with the final part of the Key Blast Supers for my all skills series I'm doing. This is going to be all the other skills that I haven't done yet for Key Blast Supers. Let's get started right away with Big Bang Attack, 108 damage, you can get it from PQ17, has medium speed and long range. This attack is even great for when you're juggling people in midair and enemies flying at you, you can use this, it'll stop them in the tracks and still work. It'll catch him in the big bang attack. Moving on to split finger shot, 88 damage, get it from PQ37, fast speed and long range. Recently seen a lot of people using this online, uh, it's a pretty good attack. <clears throat> Moving on to blaster shell, 128 damage if you get all the hits in, 16 each little ball. Uh, you can get that from PQ54, fast attack and has long range. Pretty good attack right there, I'd recommend that. Next we got God of Destruction's Anger. 98 damage. To get this, you're gonna have to have Beerus as your master. Fast attack with medium range, doesn't go all the way. By the way, to have Beerus as your master, you have to have completed Goku as a master first and sparred with him once after completing his uh, mentor missions and stuff. Next we got God of Destruction's Wrath, does around 148 damage if you get as many hits as I did in the video, but there's no way of telling exact damage. Um, you can get it from PQ44, it's a pretty fast attack, but it has short, short to medium range I'd say. Some do hit at medium range, but I keep it short range if you want to do a lot of damage. I would recommend this move mostly if you're going to be doing PQs with a lot of people, or like 3v3s, maybe even 2v2s online. Yeah, that's what I'd recommend it for. Moving on to Faint Shot, 38 damage, you're going to need Pan as your master for this one. And to have Pan as your master, you got to have DLC too. Fast Attack, has long range, pretty good there. Kind of reminds me of Shine Shot. Next we got Freezing Beam, does 20 damage, but it freezes your opponent for 4 to 5 seconds. You can get it from DLC Pack 2 in the second parallel quest in the DLC pack. It's a fast attack and has medium range. Next we got Ice Field, 48 damage, a little more than Freezing Beam, but it freezes a little bit less, I'd say for 2 to 3, maybe 3 to 4 seconds. This is also from DLC 2, but you can just buy this straight from the shop. Um, medium speed but short range. This is better for, uh, again, more enemies and freezing beam before is better for 1v1 type situations because Ice Field can freeze multiple enemies at, at a time. <clears throat> Next we got Burst Attack. Very cool looking attack. There's 112 damage. You can get this from DLC 2 as well. PQ2 in DLC 2. Uh, medium, uh, medium speed and we got long range on this one. Really cool looking attack there. Up next we got Burst Reflection. 78 damage, also from DLC 2. Also from the second PQ in DLC 2. Uh, slow attack and long range. I don't really see what's cool about this deck. It looks kind of fancy I guess, but eh, not that effective. Next we got Dragon Flash Bullet. 78 damage. Uh, it can be, can be charged, you can hold it to keep doing more Dragon Flash bullets, but it knocks them back, even, even when it's hitting them. Um, you can get this as a wish from Senron, the second time you wish for a super attack, it'll be included in the pack of super attacks you get, so you gotta wish once, and then wish again for super attacks, and then you'll get this move. Uh, it's a fast attack, short range. I really would not recommend this move. Um, it's just really unreliable. Knocks back your enemy. There's no point in uh, charging this move, by the way. <clears throat> Up next, we got Whirlwind Blade. Another awesome looking move. Kind of reminds me of... Um, what was it? <laughs> Burst attack up there? Anyways, this move does 138 damage. Uh, medium speed and short range. You can also get this from wishing. You gotta wish a shot around the second time you wish for super attacks to get this. Pretty cool attack, looks nice. 
Up next we got Big Bang Kamehameha. 213 damage. Uh, you get it from PQ49, but it's a really slow attack. And it has medium range. I'd mostly be rocking this in PQs and stuff. Maybe 3v3s, 2v2s, but the opponent can dodge it easily in a 1v1 situation. Up next we got Energy Shot. Only does 20 damage. You can get it from the first PQ ever, PQ1. Uh, it's a fast attack with long range. This attack is actually, even though it's a keyblast attack, great for melee combos. When you're in the middle of a combo, you don't want to stop it. Just pop out Energy Shot and continue with your combo. The enemy won't be able to get away if you do it in the middle of punching, you know, unless they vanish. So it's, it's great for melee users as well. Next we got Gallic Beam Cannon. 68 damage without a charge. 128 with a full charge. Another awesome looking attack here. You can get, you can get this from DLC 2. The third PQ in DLC 2. Fast attack with long range. Up next we got Infinity Explosion. This is another chargeable attack. 70 without a charge and 128 with a full charge. Same place, DLC 2, Parallel Quest 3 in DLC 2, medium speed attack I'd say, and it has short range, it has a little bit of not, it has a little bit of a knockback when you use it, so that's nice. And last of all the Keyblast Supers that we've done, number 71, Prelude to Destruction, the 73 damage uh, with one hit, and 145 with two hits, sometimes it hits twice. I don't know, might be a bug, but it happened, so I thought I'd include that. Uh, you can get that from PQ43. It's a fast attack with medium range. Alright, it's going to be it for all the Keyblast Supers. We, we're going to be doing Strike Supers very soon, but I think I'm going to get out of build in between. Peace out.